Good afternoon. A lot of talk in court today about the mental health and childhood of the Clovis Library shooter. As a judge decides what sentence he'll face. Today, Nathaniel Jewett's a great school teacher and therapist spoke with him about the major problems he suffered, which they believe contributed to the deadly shooting. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is here to tell us what happened in court today. Kim, Nathaniel Jewett's attorney asked the court to sentence him to only 20 years behind bars for the shooting that killed in 2017 that killed two and injured four. That's a big difference from the 96 year the state is asking for. Jewett's attorney believes the now 18 year old has the chance to be a productive member of society after showing some improvements during his work with a therapist. During today's hearing, Jewett's former second grade teacher took the witness stand. She blamed herself for not helping Jewett when she noticed he was struggling during his younger years. He's a sad kid. No excuse. Watch it, babe. Huh? But I mean, I don't like you. Jewett's therapist also took the witness stand this morning. Christopher Tokarski mentioned Jewett had been struggling with drug abuse, depression, and anxiety. Tokarski also says Jewett never tried to make excuses for what he did and always owned up to them. He says Jewett did have, a, have suicidal thoughts, but has since recovered from that and wants to spend some time behind bars to give justice to the victim's families. And as we heard yesterday, during yesterday's hearing, Jewett didn't have a plan for the shooting, just that he knew he was going to shoot someone somewhere that day. Today, his therapist told the court the only reason Jewett ended up in the library was because he had to go to the bathroom and had no connection to any of the victims. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. Now, Jewett's motive has remained unclear, with investigators only saying that he complained of being bullied and was mad. Today, the therapist revealed that he blamed himself for his birth mom leaving and struggled with anger over that.